folks, I thought I might um, show you around my very small um, spoon collection because um, I love talking about spoons and so I thought I'd start off by talking about some of the spoons that I've got that have been made by my friends. So um, it's not a very big collection but I can talk about each of these spoons for ages so I'll try and, <laughs> I'll try and keep a bit of a lid on it. So, um, first spoon, it's got a good story, I like this one, uh, I love this spoon actually, this, this one was given to me by Dom um, on our, the first, on the journey back from the first spoon fest that we met at and uh, we had a great spoon fest and a great journey back and this this spoon kind of yeah reminds me of that um but it's an amazing spoon i love looking at it i've learned loads from looking at the way dom's put this together and how he's carved it so yeah i just think it's fantastic the angle the crank i, I think a lot about that kind of shape of the spoon and what Dom has done. Normally I wouldn't do this to go flat and then change angle with it, but it works so well. I've used this spoon a lot and it's it's lovely in the hand. And I like the way it's got that because it's going up through the layers of grain and then Dom has put those slopes on you get that lovely feather finish there. It's just so well made, all these little tiny details, those little little nicks that you can see it's just so i come back to this spoon a lot for uh, uh, inspiration okay that's the first one and then at the same spoon fest no the following spoon fest um i saw this spoon and fell in love with it and this is made by my friend bill um Bill Gordon, who makes the most incredible, extraordinary, crazy works of art, extraordinary spoons. Um, so this is a really kind of low key one of Bill's spoons, but I just love it. I just love this skip. I don't know what the wood is. Bill sometimes works in the craziest, hardest woods. And I just, he's just done things I just wouldn't do. Look at the shape of the handle on it. Wouldn't think of doing that. And just and those lovely scallops on the on the bottom there, you see. And then just the angles, the the facets. And I love the way it's 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 kind of smooth, but you can also see these kind of circular scratches in the bowl. It's just beautiful, extraordinary thing. That's that one. And then this one, oh, this is a lovely spoon, and it broke. This was made by Alex, Alex Finberg. Um, and the story of this one was this was a spoon swap. Um, the spoon fest, I think that one appeared out. I had a bit of a spoon uh, sort of revelation and created these three eating spoons that I was really pleased with and one's I'm not sure where one there was a set of three and and the first one I made I kept and I've just 